Hello everyone, and welcome to the rest of the review. Uh, on this module, uh, it looks quite fancy, and as you can see, we have four LEDs with uh, colors that can occur on this table. So, on this module, there are two groups of colors. A primary, which, is, which are red, green, blue, and white. And, sec well, primary are red, green, and blue. And in addition, it is white. And second group is secondary yellow magenta left sign and black. So um, before we go to the resolution methods, uh, we need first to take to find out our rule. Basically, the, the rule tells us uh, four colors that we need to have on this. 4x4 four four square before we submit. So these two lights will toggle, so these two buttons will toggle um, the colors. This is submit button and this thing rotates, changes colors. But we will go over, go over it over it a bit later. Uh, first, you need to take the serial number. And tr translate each character into its numeric position and modulo everything by two. So this becomes one, becomes, no, sorry, this becomes zero, Q is 17, which is one, nine becomes one, Charlie is three, which becomes one, D is four, which becomes zero. Okay, and now we take two strings, main and secondary. Main string consists of first, third, and fifth bit, and secondary of second, fourth, and sixth. And then we take our cage light right here and translate it in, into RGB values. So black is all zeros. And now we modify our main and secondary strings by applying or operation with cage light. So for main is going to be 0 and 0 is 0, uh, 1 and 0 is 1, 0, 0 is 0. And for secondary, it's going to be all ones. Now we'll look up our main color, which is once again in RGB values, so red, green, blue. So it is just green. Uh, look at the rule for green on the diagram. At least one indicator labeled SNZ, CLR, SIG, or NSA. No, this is not true. So instead, we are going to take a secondary color, which is white, and take its colors regardless of if the rule is true or not. So our submission is going to be sign white, white, yellow. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we don't need that anymore. So now the, the most confusing. So first of all what you need to do is identify which buttons here change what three colors. Um, so this one changes as you can see this, this and this changes all except bottom right. Uh, this button is number one in the module, which I will mark as a blue color. And once again, it doesn't toggle the bottom right, which means the blue is this one, the third. Second one doesn't toggle left, so it's this one. The third doesn't toggle top right, and the fourth doesn't toggle bottom right. Now you need to make all the four. Uh, you need to make all four colors the same. So, for example, you have, um, for example, you have different colors, um, which with each button press the three colors. It cycles, uh, cycle in RGB uh, order, except for 
some of them become white. I don't exactly understand how they become white, but it is not necessary for us to know. You can just spend a few seconds and uh, make uh, three colors the same by messing around. Wow, okay, we have three same colors. And now what we need to do is make them the same as the fourth one. Which one? Uh, which one was the bottom right? This one blue is associated with one, so it's the first one. Now we have all four colors the same, and the color that we have right now is called dominant color. It's green. We can change the dominant color by cycling everything one color in RGB order by pressing all of the buttons once. So our RGB order is just RGB, RGB like that and let's look at uh, one more thing initially these both LEDs are off they are always initially off uh, all the colors that you can have are from the group of uh, primary and white uh, but you can notice our solution has colors not primary white, but instead they're secondary or black. So, um, make two colors secondary, but exactly the opposite. Opposite for green would be magenta, opposite for blue would be yellow, opposite for white would be black, and opposite for red would be cyan. We need to toggle this LED, so as you can see, blue colors become yellow. Uh, okay. And this LED here toggles top left, bottom right colors. This toggles bottom left and top. Sorry, this toggles top left, bottom right. This toggles top right and bottom left. And in all of the uh, eight possible um, answers that you need to submit, uh, exactly two of the colors would be primary or white in one diagonal and secondary or black on another diagonal. Um, okay, we need to make this diagonal um, secondary or black, uh, which means before switch, before toggling this LED, we need to make this color opposite of yellow, which is blue, uh, and sign is opposite red. So before toggling, we need to make it red, white, white, and blue. Okay. And this is the, our current goal. So this table here. Um, okay. Quite tricky to explain, but um, so N here in this on this table is referred as the next color uh, after the dominant. Our dominant color is green, so in RGB um, order, next color is blue. In our case, the next color will be blue, and uh, U is unused third primary, which would be the second color after the dominant. In our case, it would be two after blue, which is green. Sorry, I said blue. Blue is dominant right now because we change it once. So the next color would be red, and third unused primary would be green. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our solution that we need to get. All of the colors are white. If you, have, if you need to do two white colors, you are going to look at this part of the table. Uh, our whites are diagonals right here, as you can see here. And there are bottom left and top right. So it's there is one or this one. And we need to make two of the remaining colors uh, unused, third primary and dominant. So, the colors that we need to get are blue and red. Since uh, blue, since red goes after blue, if we have blue as our dominant, red would be considered next. But we need unused and dominant. Unused would be green if we have blue as our current dominant color which means 
if we have red as our dominant color, the blue would be uh, unused. So let's set uh, everything as red. Okay, and now we have red as um, dominant color. Okay, we need to get red as the dominant color, which is top left. So we have dominant properties here, and let's see what does this say. So uh, one, um, so these digits uh, here I imply that you need to on this. Okay, that you need to uh, first. Um, Okay, uh, on this table that you need to click the first and then the second. The first right here associated with green color, which I uh, marked as the third button right here. And the second is associated with yellow, which is fourth on the module. We'll click uh, three and four. And after that, here on the left, it says, uh, Okay, we did the start method. Now push one of the, the remaining sets twice. We used one and two on this table. Uh, by the way, the remaining sets here, here, the, the rule refers to the remaining sets on this table always. Um, it says the higher set. Uh, by higher and lower, it means the number that it has, it has here. The two remaining sets are three and four. The higher set is four. And 4 is associated with color red, which is 2 on the module. So we'll press it twice, and we get our desired colors. And all we need to do is toggle these two colors here, and we get our answer. Quite a tricky module. Let's do one more without the black color. For example, this one. And now our aged light. is blue <coughs> uh, RGB it is zero, zero, 001 now XORing main and cage gives us zero, 001 one. and XORing 101 with zero, zero, 001 gives us 110 one, so the main color is um, erase everything it is uh, green and blue which is sign let's see each light is opposite of either unmodified colors. Each light is blue. Uh, is opposite of yellow. Is yellow one of the modified colors? No. Main is just green. Secondary is white. Neither of them is yellow. So let's rule it off. Um, and then we take a look at the secondary color, which is. Um, uh, yellow and take these colors regardless of it, regardless of the, if the secondary color is true or false uh, the condition so green magenta yellow blue once again green and blue are from the main group of uh, primary and white magenta yellow are the, from the secondary we would need to toggle these two colors from this but with this button. Um, okay, but before toggling, these colors should be uh, magenta is opposite green, yellow is opposite blue. Yes, this is what we need to get before toggling colors. Okay, this is quite easy. As you can see, we have only two colors, uh, which means we need to use uh, only this thing on the top, one of them. Okay, they're uh, in groups of horizontal, which means we need to use uh, this, either of these two. I will just mark it for now. Oops. But first, let's, um, let's make it all four uh, same colors. We already have three the same colors, so 
Oh, yeah, that's the right, the right one. So our dominant color is red. Okay, this one toggles bot doesn't toggle bottom right. So the first one is bottom right. The second one is top right. The third one is bottom left. The fourth one is top left. Okay. Uh, we need to get green and blue. Uh, our order is RGB RGB as always. Our current um, dominant is red. Uh, the rule says us says us that we need to have uh, a dominant color, but dominant is not in the answer, so we need to change our dominant color. Okay. Um, so green is dominant and should be on top. Blue is if green is dominant, then blue is next. So we should have dominant, dominant, next, next, which is indeed this one. So we need to press now the button two and three on this table. Button two is shaded with the green color, which is um, button three on the module. And button three is associated with blue color, which is button one on the module. Okay. And now we need to toggle these two. And I believe uh, that's enough. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.